Now, when you're dealing with the media and doing interviews, it's important that you understand the rules of the game and who the players are in the game. Now, you have to understand that the media is not your friend, but they're not your enemy. They have a job to do. They have a product to sell. And if, it can, if you can help them sell their product, they're going to use you. Now, the only problem with that is it doesn't depend on whether that's a good or a bad story for you. If it helps them sell product, they're going to use it regardless. So you have to understand the rules of the game and who the players are. Now, the most important thing you have to do when you're doing interviews with reporters is say what you want to say. Stay on message. Reporters have a story to write, and they're going to want to, you to say something, perhaps sensational, answering a tough question. You want to stay on message, obviously your campaign message. What are your main points that you always want to discuss in every interview? Think them through and think how you're going to take a question and reposition it so you can respond in a way that stays consistent with your message. Now, one of the things that I tell people is, if you don't want to see it in black and white the next day, you don't want to see it in print, don't say it. Now, understand the rules of the game as you're dealing with the reporter and setting the ground rules up front. There's three things that you should understand in dealing with the press and doing an interview. Is the interview on the record? Is it off the record? or is it on background, and setting those guidelines up front before the interview begins. I have seen people who thought a interview was off the record, only to find out the next day the reporter assumed it was on the record, or because it wasn't clearly established that it was off the record, took it to be on the record, and they saw things in black and white the next day they simply didn't want seen. So as you do an interview, set the guidelines up front. On the record is you, the quotes that you give will be attributed to you. Off the record is, the quotes won't be attributed to you, but they might be used. On background, no quotes will be used. You will not be identified. You are merely giving information to the reporter so the reporter can write a story and have direction in where he or she is going with the story. Now, never take an interview last minute. I tell people if you're not expecting an interview and a reporter calls, you are always in the middle of something. Even if you're just sitting there and actually don't have anything going on, remember, whenever something happens at the last minute with an interview, you are always in the middle of something. Why do I say that? You don't want to be taken off guard. You want to have a few minutes to think about it. So I tell people, if you get a call as a candidate from a reporter, you say, I'm in the middle of something. When's your deadline? What's the topic of the interview? Take down that information. Ask them what the best number is that you can call them back at. Take about 10, 15 minutes to think through how you're going to address the issue that the reporter wants to talk about and how you can frame it in such a way that stays consistent with your campaign message. Say the same thing to your campaign staff or volunteers. If they get a call from a reporter, you're in the middle of something, get the topic, get the deadline, get the best number to call the reporter at, and call the reporter back after 10 or 15 minutes of thinking how you want to address that topic or that issue. Now. As you think about the various mediums, TV, radio, online, think about how they work. If you're going to be doing a TV interview, you're going to have about two or three minutes, typically of live. Sometimes they will tape the interview, but think through how you want to be perceived. I tell people that one of the most important things you can do on a TV interview is to smile and look directly at the camera. If your eyes are shifting to and from, it's a, it gives a bad impression. If you're not smiling, it also gives a bad impression. The thing with TV interviews is most people will not remember the majority of the things that you say, but they will come away with impressions. You want to have a good impression left with the constituents. This person did know what they were talking about. They looked pleasant. They looked like they knew what they were doing. You want to leave that impression. When you're dealing with radio, understand it's going to be live as well, typically, but obviously you're not going to be seen. If you want to smile or not, that's your choice. But you're going to have about five to seven minute segments with a radio host. If they really like you, you might have two segments. You're going to have to be thinking through what you want to say because you don't have 30 seconds or, or one minute to fill. You might have a seven minute to a 14 minute conversation, interview. You're going to have to go a little bit more in depth. Radio is live. It's right there. You're going to have the ability to say some great things, but understand you might have to go into a little bit more depth than just a quick little 30 second bite. Now, in dealing with online, in dealing with bloggers, in dealing with online newspapers, understand as you give an interview, the, the speed at which 21st century media moves, you give an interview, it might be posted later that day or within a matter of hours. So understand how quickly the new media medium works. Understand as you give an interview, it can really help you or hurt you because it will probably hit the press cycle, at least hit online very, very quickly. Now. 
as you think through everything, as you work through all the various things and doing interviews and understanding who the reporters are, how they operate, how they work, their deadlines, how they're selling product, think through how you're going to approach it. The most important thing you can do as a candidate is understanding they're not your friend, they're not your enemy, they have a product to sell. How can you interact with them to make sure that you stay consistent and on campaign message every time you have interaction with them?